All right, welcome back. For children on school break, there's no better time than summer to spread their wings and learn something new. One Art School hopes to tap the child's creative juices and bring out the best in them through lessons tailor fit to their needs. Now, here to take us through their summer arts and crafts workshops is Josephine Yuvienko Ambalada, Managing Director of Winged Wonder. Good morning. Good morning, Paolo. Wow, this is such an interesting uh, assortment of things you have uh, uh, brought this morning. And uh, like, like we said earlier, perfect because, I mean, we were talking about how to keep uh, kids busy mm -hmm. this summer. And, That's right. I mean, as a parent, I know, exactly. I know how hard exactly. it is really to, mm -hmm. when, when school's not around to keep them busy. It's amazing just how much time they have on their hands. And summer really is the perfect time to, to, to address all those other aspects of, of their growth that, that they don't have uh, much time for during school days. So uh, Winged Wonder is, is, seems like the perfect place to start. Yes, actually summer is the best way to foster creativity among mm -hmm. your children because you know they have time to relax and yeah. uh, uh, creativity is um, fosters and relaxation and you know when you're not too tense they're right. not doing anything. Okay, what, what is Winged Wonder all about? Winged Wonder is about, um, we have an intervention center mm -hmm. for um, children with special needs as well as regular okay. learners. Mm -hmm. However, um, in our center, we have designed special programs, um, like for example, this program Arts Around the World okay. that aims to teach history through arts and crafts. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you've got a great assortment of things here. I mean, when you talk about um, world culture, world history, mm -hmm. and, and sort of uh, passing on those lessons to kids through the different um, how would you say, uh, artistic styles and mm -hmm. artistic practices, uh, art practices that are linked, uh, heavily linked to the cultures of the different parts of the world. What are some of the examples you have with us today? All right, we have the um, Aboriginal painting from Australia. Right, okay. So other than, you know, the painting, we also t teach them how to how to dance mm -hmm. in a, you know, very, very short way. Okay. And we have the Russian doll, the Russian Matryoshka. This is great, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, usually you see that sort of nesting, uh, you know, yes, one inside yes. another. But, you know, you, you get the, the basic idea. Mm -hmm. All right. We also have from the Philippines, the Alibata. Okay. Because um, right now, nowadays, most of the children doesn't know what bye bye and is uh -huh. anymore. So okay, so mm -hmm. I, a lot of people actually don't know what Alibata. <laughs> yeah, I, I, exactly. I, I just learned it recently. Um, that's that's this over here. I mean, you've got the the, the old. Uh, ancient way of uh, that, that we used to write mm -hmm. uh, uh, is it alibata mm -hmm. uh, as it was mm -hmm. called so some these things are practiced and learned um, during the course the art uh, the arts and crafts course itself yes yes mm -hmm. we have um you know we, we let them um, know that what certain symbol would represent okay yeah. um, I understand uh, there's also I mean this this looks like uh, the, the Indian uh, Rangoli. Rangoli yes uh, layers of colors in India all right this is I, I remember seeing this firsthand where they would they, they use uh, powdered pigments yes, exactly. usually on the floor mm -hmm, and, and they mm -hmm. make these beautiful, beautiful. intricate designs mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and you've also got uh, some Native American uh, dream catchers yeah the over dream there. catcher where you know um, it catches bad dreams according mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. you know um, beliefs of Native Americans okay all right yeah so so lots of opportunity to learn mm -hmm. all sorts of different uh, world cultures mm -hmm. and, and the histories attached to that but really uh, let's take a step back and talk mm -hmm. about winged wonders as a whole I mean mm -hmm. where did it all begin for you guys we, we began 2006 as an intervention center we mm -hmm. go to you know we had a one-on-one uh, -on -one intervention for children with special needs and okay. those who are doing some advancement mm -hmm. so yeah and uh, did you find that art and um, arts and crafts was a, a great way to help these kids who had these special um, needs? Normally, uh, we, we designed this for special kids, but mm -hmm. uh, eventually it became very popular among regular learners. That's mm -hmm. why we have opened our doors to, you know, um, all students. To all students, yeah. all right. Okay. Um, it's different. It, your approach is a little bit uh, unusual in that, uh, you know, it's not the usual, let's let's sit down with a pen and paper and, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. draw something. That's or, right. You know, that's right. It, it's, it's great that you're you're actually uh, adding a new dimension to, to the, the art, the traditional art class, mm -hmm. where you're, you're learning a little bit of uh, history and world culture. That's right. Mm -hmm. This is formed out of the desire to teach history in a, you know, in a very relaxed way. Mm -hmm. not, because in the tra traditional classroom setup, we normally are asked to memorize rise you know right. um, numbers of dates and mm -hmm. we don't want that that's why we have designed this uh, program so that they will learn history and culture by being you know aware by doing the arts and crafts thing in their mm -hmm. in their school okay mm -hmm. and what would you say differentiates the way you you guys run your 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 classes and your courses at, uh, basically our our aim is about creativity mm -hmm. so 
I think that's our uh, unique selling proposition. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, tell us a bit more about uh, how the classes go and, and who, who actually comes to take part in the classes. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have two groups actually, Paolo. Mm -hmm. That's uh, three to seven for our mini class, okay. and we also have for uh, preteens, eight to fifteen years old. Mm -hmm. So um, it's divided into two because um, you know the frustration tolerance of each group is different okay. from the other. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's a very uh, fancy way of sounding, uh, saying that kids get bored at a certain point. Yes. <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> and and you, you do need to tailor. You do need to tailor. Uh, teaching, you do need to tailor learning and the, you know, the way things are taught, the subject matter and uh, I think that's really what makes your program a little different is mm -hmm. that you're, you're, you're sensitive to those things. Yes, we're, sen we're sensitive particularly, particularly to the needs of the, the learners. Okay, yeah. okay so uh, how can kids uh, be involved, how can kids mm -hmm. join up okay. and uh, what can they look forward to? Um, they can actually go to, we're, we have these classes in fully booked mm -hmm. in Bonifacio High Street. All so right. they can register there mm -hmm. because um, for batch one, it's already closed. Okay. And we're, we're opening. So obviously it's popular. Yes. Okay. Yes. So when, mm -hmm. when is the second batch opening and uh, what are the other details? Okay. Second batch will be on May 10 up to May 26. Mm -hmm. So we're still open for that. Okay. A few more you know, remaining slots. All right. What's what's uh, what are the what are the costs involved in, in the course? It's you know free, um, yeah. The entire cost of the program is three thousand eight hundred. Okay. Inclusive of the materials. Okay. And there's a lot of materials here because, like we said, I mean, mm -hmm. we, we covered all sorts of different um, art styles uh, from from Indian to Aboriginal, Australian Aboriginal, mm -hmm. Native American. I understand you also have uh, a little bit of uh, Wayang uh, Indonesian yeah. Wayang Kulit, it, mm -hmm. a little bit of uh, like you said, Indian Rangoli. Mm -hmm. and all sorts of different uh, art styles and cultural styles tied into history so mm -hmm. it's it's art classes history classes That's right so oh, such as a well, great uh, mm -hmm. you know holistic uh, approach, approach to to art as well as trivia we have trivia and fun facts okay. uh, where in ch uh, children will learn uh, some fun facts about the country mm -hmm. for example you know um, about Canada like uh, it's noted to be the place of Santa Claus okay. really mm -hmm. I didn't even know to, I, think, <laughs> yeah, I, I think I might join your classes now <laughs> all right so uh, if you want a little more information I believe you can be reached uh, at info at wingwonder.org yes all right or you can also call 0917-8566 687. Yes. All right. So thank you so much. It looks like such an interesting course. And again, perfect because really as a parent, I know how difficult it is to keep your kids occupied this summer. And summer really is the perfect time to indulge in the things that you don't usually have time for during the school day. So thanks so much mm -hmm. for joining us this thank morning. So Josephine Yuvienko Ambalada, Managing Director of Winged Wonder. Thanks so much. Thank you so much.